This video will teach you everything you need to know about adding projectiles to your Unreal Engine project. First we're going to create the projectile blueprint, so go to the content browser, right click, go to blueprint class, then select actor. Name this BP underscore base projectile. Open it, then click add and search for a sphere. If you have a particular asset you want to use for the projectile, add a static mesh instead. I'm going to quickly change the material for the sphere and also resize it to make it a bit smaller. Next, select the default scene route and then click the add button. Search for a sphere collision. Name this collision. Alter the sphere radius so that it is slightly bigger than the mesh. The final component we need to add is a projectile movement. This allows for our actor to move like a projectile. With the projectile movement selected, in the details panel you can change values such as initial speed, which is how fast the projectile moves when it spawns. I'm going to set this to 800. Next I'm going to set the max speed to 1000. This is the fastest possible speed that our projectile can move. You can also change the projectile's gravity scale. This is effectively how fast the projectile falls to the ground. We're going to make this projectile move like a bullet, so we're going to set the gravity scale to zero, meaning that it won't fall towards the ground. Next we're going to set up the collisions. The mesh's only purpose is for the visual of the projectile, so select it, then locate the collision section of the details panel. Open the collisions preset dropdown and select no collision. The collision sphere is what we'll be using to detect when the projectile hits an object. So select it, then change the collision preset to block all dynamic. Next, drag the mesh on top of the collision to make it a child of it. Then drag the collision on top of the default scene route to remove it. Compile and save. Now our basic projectile is set up, so we need to add some functionality to our player character so that they can shoot it. We'll start by adding a shoot input. Go to the content browser and locate your input actions folder. Then right click and go to input, then input action. Call this IA underscore shoot. This input should be set to digital ball. Save this, then close it. Next, locate your input mapping context. Open it, then click the add button. Go to the drop down and select our shoot input action. Next, click the keyboard button, then press the input you want to use. I'm just going to use left click. Save and close this, then go back to the content browser and locate your player character blueprint. Open it, then in some space, right click and add our shoot input action. Expand this, then drag off the started pin and search for spawn actor from class. This will be used to spawn our projectile. Go to the class drop down and select our base projectile blueprint. Next we need to select where our projectile will spawn from. So to do this, open the viewport and then select the capsule component. Click the add button and search for an arrow. Name this projectile arrow. Move this to where you want the projectile to be shot from and make sure it's facing the same direction as the player character. You also want to make sure it's outside of the capsule component to make sure there's no collision issues. Next, go back to the event graph and drag in the arrow. Drag off it and search for Get World Transform. Connect the return value to the Spawn Transform pin. Now our projectile will spawn at the location of the arrow and move in the direction it's pointing. If you compile and save, then go back to the viewport and press play. When you click your shoot input, the projectile will be fired in the direction that the player is facing. Next I'm going to quickly show you how to make a projectile that can bounce on the ground. So go back to the content browser and right click on our base projectile, then select create child blueprint class. Name this BP underscore bouncing projectile. Open it then select projectile movement. In the details panel enable should bounce. For the projectile to bounce we also need to increase the gravity scale so that it falls towards the ground. Compile and save this then go back to the player character. Then we can change the spawn actor to the bouncing projectile. If you compile and save then go back to the viewport and press play. When you shoot the projectile it will now be able to bounce off the ground and off walls. 
For the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to quickly go back to the player character and change the projectile to our base projectile. Something very important to do with projectiles is to destroy them after a few seconds of them spawning in. This is so that a load of projectiles don't stay spawned in the level, which could cause performance issues. To set this up, go back to the base projectile and delete these events. Drag off the begin play and search for a set timer by event. Set the time to something like 5 seconds, then drag off the event and add a custom event. Name this Destroy Projectile. Then drag off it and search for a Destroy Actor. This system will destroy the projectile 5 seconds after it spawns. Compile and save, then go back to the viewport and press play. Now if you fire off a few projectiles and wait a couple seconds, you'll see that they despawn. Next we're going to make it so that our projectile can apply damage to any objects or enemies in our level. To do this, go back to the base projectile, then right click on the collision sphere, go to add event, then add on component hit. This event triggers when the projectile bumps into any object. Drag off the other actor pin and search for apply damage. Here we can set the amount of damage we want to apply to any object that we hit. I'm just going to set this to 25. Next we want to destroy the projectile whenever it hits an object. So drag off and search for destroy actor. Compile and save this. Next we're going to set up a blueprint that we can apply damage to with our projectile. For this I'm going to create a turret which I'll also give the ability to shoot projectiles back at us later. Open the content browser, then right click, go to blueprint class, then select actor. I'm going to name this BP underscore enemy turret. Open it, then go to the viewport and click add. My turret asset is a skeletal mesh, so I'm going to add that. I have included a link for this turret mesh in the description below. Next I'm going to go to the skeletal mesh asset drop down and locate my turret mesh and I'll also make it a bit smaller. Next we need to give the mesh some collision so that our projectile can hit it. So in the collision section, set the collision preset to block all dynamic. Next we're going to make it so that we can damage this actor with our projectiles. So go to the event graph and delete these events. We need to give some health to this actor, so add a variable and call it health. Then set the type to float. Click Compile, then set the default health value to something like 100. Next, right click on the graph and search for an event any damage. This will receive the damage applied from the projectile. Next, drag in the health variable and get it. Drag off it and search for Subtract. Subtract the damage applied from the projectile from the player's total health. Next, drag in the health variable again and this time set it. Connect it up so that we are setting the player's new health as their original health minus the damage they've taken. Next we want to make it so that the turret is destroyed once their health reaches zero. So drag off here and search for a less than or equal to. Leave this set to zero. Next drag off and add a branch. And connect it up. If this is true the turret has no health left and should be destroyed. So drag off and search for destroy actor. If you want a more detailed look at health and damage systems in Unreal Engine 5, I've made a separate video on this. This video will appear on screen now and also be linked in the description below. This system is now set up, so compile and save, then go back to the viewport. Go to the content browser, then drag in the turret blueprint. If we press play, then fire some projectiles at the turret, it should take damage and eventually be destroyed. The final thing we're going to do is give this turret the ability to fire projectiles back at the player and damage them. So to do this, go back to the turret blueprint, then go to the viewport. We're going to use the same method that we used for the player character. So select the mesh, then click add, and then add an arrow. Move the arrow to just in front of the barrel of the turret. Next, go back to the event graph, then in some space, right click and search for an event begin play. Drag off it and search for a set timer by event. 
Set the time to something around 4 seconds, then make sure that looping is enabled. This is so that the projectile is repeatedly fired every few seconds. Next, drag off the event pin and search for a custom event. Call this shoot. Then drag off it and search for spawn actor from class. Set the class to our base projectile blueprint. Next, drag in the arrow, then drag off it and search for get world transform. Connect this to the spawn transform pin. Now if you compile and save then go back to the viewport and press play, the turret should be firing a projectile every few seconds. Next we're going to make it so that the player character can be damaged by these projectiles. To do this we'll quickly go into the enemy turret blueprint, then select all of these nodes and copy and paste them into the player character. If you click compile you'll get some errors as we don't have a health variable. So right click on the health variable and click create variable. Compile again then set the default health value to whatever you want. Off the troop in this is where you'd put your player's death functionality. Again I've made a separate video on this which I've linked in the description. If you compile and save then go back to the viewport and press play. The projectiles fired by the turret will now be able to damage and kill the player. You should now have a basic understanding of how to add projectiles to your Unreal Engine project. If this video helped you, please feel free to like and subscribe or support me on Patreon so that I can keep making these Unreal Engine tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.